In this video, I will show you how to use the Meta Ads Manager app on your smartphone to run Facebook ads. Open your Play Store, tap on the search bar and search for Meta Ads Manager. You will see the suggestion here, just tap on it. If you don't have the app already, then go ahead and download it. You will see the install button right here. Mine is showing open because I've already installed the app on my phone. After downloading, go ahead and click on this open button. To log in your Meta Ads Manager app, use your Facebook account login details and it will open. When you open it, you are not going to see all this on your Meta Ads Manager app if it is a fresh one. You are seeing all this because this is how much I've spent on ad on this particular ad account. And and these are my ad history right here okay so now let me show you how to run ad i believe by now you have set up your ad account payment method and you have added funds into your ad account in case you miss those video go back and watch them now let me show you how to set up ad using this meta ads manager app click on this plus button this green plus button right there it will take you to this interface yours may differ if it is a new account because of their updates to new accounts okay but it's the same content you are going to see that it's still engagement, it's still awareness objective, it's still traffic and all that, okay? Now, this is your campaign objective. By campaign objective, they are asking you what you want to achieve with your ad. The ad you want to run, what objective do you want to achieve, okay? Note that you cannot select more than one ad objective. You can only select one at a time. You can run two, three ads, five ads, but you can select one objective per ad now let me explain each objective for you the first one here is engagement objective for engagement objective you can use it for message you can sell with this engagement objective you will optimize for message conversation and you are going to be able to get clients who will message you to buy your product via messenger whatsapp business or instagram you can also use the engagement objective to run ad for post engagement as well as facebook page followers and post likes the next ad objective here is the awareness objective this awareness objective is used to reach more people for more people to see your content or your post it is mostly used for brand awareness the next ad objective here is the traffic objective you can use this traffic objective to generate traffic to your website your landing page or you send people to your blog okay if you're using laptop you can also use this traffic objective to send people to your whatsapp or messenger the next objective here is the leads objective leads are people who have interest in what you are promoting or what you are selling so the leads objective is mostly used when you want to sell high High ticket products like real estate cars and you want to get their details so that you can call them for inspection for follow-up okay that is if you don't want to use the engagement objective and direct them to whatsapp you can use leads and you use a landing page and opt-in page for your ad okay the next one we have here is the sales objective sales is mostly used by those who are running an e-commerce store okay if you are using maybe a seller store or your own e-commerce store and people can click on the buy now button to make a purchase then you can use this sales objective you can also direct your sales to whatsapp or messenger okay the last ad objective we have here is app promotion just as the name implies it is used for promoting app for people to install app and for app events that is for those who have their app on app store or play store having explained all the ad objectives we have here let us set an ad with one and i'm going to choose this first one one, which is the engagement objective so when i tap on engagement objective it will take me to this interface you are going to see three here this one is a quick create okay that means that there is a template that facebook has given you to create ad quickly okay the disadvantage of using this quick create is that you will not have the liberty to edit and set things the way you want it you will not be in charge or in control of your ad setup that is why i prefer the manual creates okay so select the manual engagement objective here when you tap on that it will direct you here there are three levels to running facebook ads we have the campaign level here we have the ad set level 
and we also have the ad level after setting up these three ads level your ad is ready to be published so let's begin with the campaign level you will see campaign details here your campaign details are your campaign name special ad category and your budget okay so let's start with the first one campaign name okay each of them have this edit button okay so to edit it tap on this edit button let's begin with this okay give it a name the reason why they want you to name your campaign is for identification purpose okay now after entering the campaign name like this click on this back button okay subsequently i'll not be directing it like that again so take note when i say click back after putting in campaign name just know that it is that back button i'm talking about okay so i'll tap back and you see that the name has appeared here the next thing is special ad category i don't need to edit anything there i've seen none here take note ads that fall under special ad categories are adverts that is promoting employment credit social crime politics election those are the ads that they categorize under special ad category if your ad does not fall under that then leave this at none okay let's go to the next one which is budget go ahead and click on this button here you will see two types of budgets in here the daily budget and the lifetime budget for the daily budget you are going to be selecting how much you will be using per day for your ad and the lifetime budget you will select how much you want to be using for a lifetime of that ad okay so i want daily budget so that we know how much i'm spending per day and how my ad perform per day right here you are going to see this amount there is an edit button beside it when you tap on it you'll be able to edit the amount the minimum amount you can use per day for your ad is one dollar the equivalent of one dollar as of today of recording this video is 1600 naira. that's the minimum you can use up to one million to run your ad per day okay so it's all about what you have starts with what you can afford okay so let me just use one six here if the dollar exchange rate increases it will no longer be one six take note of that so i'll put one six here as my minimum daily budget okay i've imputed that one six okay the next thing here is bid strategy leave it like that leave it at highest volume don't touch anything there after setting this click on this back button we are done setting the campaign level down below here you will see the next button click on next edit this ad set name we are going to be using the same name we use at the campaign level so i'm promoting laptop i'm going to be selecting imputing laptop right there okay after that click back the next thing here is conversion go ahead and edit i want to be selling laptop so i want those who are interested in buying this laptop to send me a whatsapp message right so i will select this messaging destination because i want messages right then i will scroll down right here you will see this facebook page name click on this drop down button here to select the particular facebook page you want to run this advert on now the page you are using to run the ad will appear here here. now you have to select one messaging app right you cannot select more than one here therefore i'll be selecting only whatsapp let those who are interested in buying my laptop come to whatsapp so i will uncheck messenger and i will also uncheck instagram down here and i will also uncheck instagram down here to untick it just tap inside this box and it will be unchecked okay i have unchecked both of them right now so it's only on whatsapp now after that click back we are done with conversion let's go to schedule go ahead and edit schedule by schedule they want you to set your end date take notes you cannot edit the start date and start time on this app the ad is going to start whenever the ad is approved after submitting your ad it will take within 24 hours and within that 24 hours from the time you publish your ad the ad is going to be approved what you can set here is the end date okay there is a button here so turn it on when you turn on that button you will see the end date here and you we see the end time so click on this drop down button to set your end date as at the time of recording this video is march 4th so you can go ahead and count how many days you want your ad to last so if i want this advert to run for five days i'll count four five six seven eight okay and on the eighth is the fifth day so i'll select eight here and i will click on ok then i will click on this end time to set the end time i always prefer that my ad ends at the end of the day so i will select 11 
50 pm okay after selecting 11 it will take you to the minute i'll select 50 here or you can even select 55 okay after that i'm going to select pm here i'll tap on pm and i will click on this okay button it's as simple as that okay that's the only thing you set there this ad spend limit leave it off don't touch it leave it like that then go ahead and click on this back button the next thing we need to set here is the audience but we cannot take audience in this particular video because audience is quite broad i want to teach you the different types of audience so i'm going to do that in a separate video okay let me show you other things here next thing is to click on placements when you tap on placement it will take you here go ahead and click on this drop down button here to edit placement there are two major placements you will see here the advantage plus placement and the manual placement i prefer to use the manual placement so that i can select where i want my ad to show so i'm going to check this box right here here i will select the particular device i want my ad to show i will click on this drop down button here to edit the devices i will uncheck desktop and leave it on mobile right then i will go next to platforms i don't want my ad to show on all the platforms so i'll click on this drop down button to edit my platforms now this is sticking facebook and instagram i don't want my ad to show on instagram so i will uncheck instagram in some people's own you will see that your audience network and messenger are checked uncheck all of them if you're using small budget like one six uncheck all of them and leave it on facebook if you are using small budget like that it will not show on all of them so i've left it on only facebook right that's the only thing i will do i can go further to uncheck some things like facebook reels and all that and leave it only on feed but for the purpose of this video this is everything i don't need to do here i'll click on the back button now to go back that is all for ad set level so i'll click on this next button below to set my ad i'll click on this ad name here to edit the ad name remember i'm selling laptop so i'll see use the name i use for campaign and ad set which is laptop and i will go back by clicking on this back button after that i will click on ad setup to edit the ad setup take note of this this ad setup you're seeing here there is a drop down button right here when you click on this drop down button you are going to see create ad and use existing posts let me explain this create ad is going to enable you to select the ad creative you're using if you're using image make sure that your image is square size the recommended size by facebook is 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels okay make sure that it's square size if you're using video let it be square size which is using one is to one aspect ratio that is for feed post okay if you're using um the placement for reels is different right okay so now if you are using use existing post this use existing post means you are going to be running ad with the post you have already made on your facebook page so before you come here you must have made that post on your facebook page then you can use existing post i hope you understand the difference now before i continue please like this video and drop a comment have you done that now all right let's continue the next thing here is the ad creative format you can use single Single image or video or you use carousel carousel for those who are familiar with instagram carousel these are images they are maximum of 10 you can swipe it right left center that is how carousel is okay after setting up this go ahead and click on this back button we are done with the ad setup let's go to ad creative go ahead and tap on this edit button let's edit the ad creative here you will see media tap here to edit the media it's loading you are going to see different places you can take images from if you click on this page images you will see all the images on your page you can select any of those images you can see my here showing here you can select any of those images for your ad right the next one is camera rule if you have given this app meta ads manager permission to access your gallery if you tap on camera rule now it will take you to your phone gallery and you can select the image you have there the next one here is add images if you have run ad before you'll be seeing the images you use for your previous ad there and you can use them again after selecting any of the image you want to use go ahead and click on this done button below before we continue
continue there is a caution here invalid call to action in case you see something like this go ahead and scroll down when you scroll down you will see the call to action right here click on this drop down button here to edit they say we should use send whatsapp message so when you scroll down you will see send whatsapp message which is the last one here select the send whatsapp message and that caution message will disappear okay that is how to solve that particular issue the next thing here is to enter your headline edit this one chat in messenger edit that headline what they want you to put there is a short phrase that explains your offer example let's say you're doing easter 30 percent discount sales that is what they want you to put there the headline triggers customers to take action or to read your offer okay the next thing here is the primary text what they mean by primary text is your offer here you will explain your offer with text okay tell the people about what you're promoting or selling every information they need to know this is where you sell your offer in words after the primary text just scroll down and you will see the message template here so click on this edit message template to edit this message for me i don't like this frequently asked question because some unserious person will be using it to disturb my life so i'll turn it off then this is what i'll edit here the greeting text some people have issue with this please let us know how we can help you some people will say you cannot help me you're not my god some people are very religious okay so just use something like talking about your offer let's assume that i'm selling laptop like i said so what you will do to edit this is to tap on this text to edit so i'll tap on it right now so i will edit it and type which of our laptops do you want to buy today after typing in the text you want you are going to click this back button when they click on your ad they will see that text first remember we already set the call to action earlier because of that prompt message okay now go back and you are done with your ad click on this review button to review your ad now you will go through all this okay so you will see the publish button down below if everything is okay just click on the publish button to publish your ad and your ad is going to be approved within 24 hours don't forget ensure that you add money into your ad account before running your ad if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and drop a comment below